Ha <laughs> ha, hello my inferior younger slash older cousin. It is I, the 2021 Funko Pop Giant Godzilla 10 inch. Um, we've been over this. I'm not inferior to you. I mean, just look at me. I'm cute. You just look like a little Tasmanian devil. Had you know what? With a crocodile. Why don't you insult the king like that? Bow to me. I'm not bowing to my own cousin. Look at you. Your eyes are as big as a basketball. Your teeth look like they're toothpicks. Your claws look like they're webbed feet on some bird. And your feet don't even look like Godzilla feet. They look like Tyrannosaurus Rex feet. I, on the other hand, actually look like the Toho Godzilla. Okay, how dare you insult the king like that? And plus, what makes you so superior to me, when that's clearly not true? I'm at least size appropriate for a collection. Fine, you want to be size appropriate? I'll show you size appropriate. Yay, I'm tiny now. That is not what I meant. Hello everybody, welcome back to another review. My name is Matthew, and today we're taking a look at the Funko Pop Godzilla vs. Kong 2021. Godzilla himself, the three inch little boy. Not any repaints, not any exclusives, not any different size variation. Sorry. Um, it's just the original, plainly titled Godzilla. No exclusive, although technically this was from an exclusive. But we're we're going to get into that later. Actually, we're going to talk about that right now. This figure, actually, uh, in particular, came from a set of two, which I just recorded my unboxing of. From the Godzilla and Kong. So if you want to check that unboxing out, go to my channel list page and you shall be able to find it. Assuming that this is, by the time you're watching this video, it's the day it's uploaded or at least the day after or something recently. Okay? Okay. So, um, overall, all I'm just going to say is I searched high and low for this figure. My comic shops did not have this. Ebay and Amazon, despite their prices, I really did not like um, the fact that of how much they charged for shipping because a lot of the eBay listings I looked for this guy because this is a ten buck figure, okay, on its own, and like seriously, you're gonna charge thirty bucks for just a single figure. Um. But, you know, let, let's complain later. <laughs> um, but, hey, that's what a, the point of the review is. Uh, we're going to take a look at Sculpted Pay, which is uh, bonkers. I'm just going to say it. It's absolutely bonkers. Like, not only is this, like, really um, super detailed, it's fantastic. Look at the paint. Look at the glossy... Black guys, hold on, is my camera smudged? Uh, no, I think it just made it worse. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, look at the detail on this thing. It's so pretty. It's so beautiful. Um, every single little crack and crevice is accounted for. It's painted all the way. The dorsal fins are large enough. To satisfy any sort of person picking up a Funko Pop like this, or I guess this one in particular, um, it has nice, uh, beautifully painted feet. Uh, I love the black on this, uh, like the claws and everything. That's something I love about the Pops, you know? They just go the extra mile. Funko did not have to do this, but they did. They knew that there was a legion of buyers that would come out and purchase this thing. And they hoped that, you know, it'd be improved from this. I'm not saying this is bad. No. This is great. Okay? I'm actually going to get into a comparison later. But they knew that they needed an A-game. And they brought their A-game. I don't know who the sculptor is. I don't know who the painter is. But whoever did this did a fantastic job. The dry brushing is so accounted for. It's so amazingly beautiful the tail paint underneath the tail and above the tail under tail and above tail uh under the belly underbelly and on top of the uh back i guess on the back um the head 
the teeth. All of this is just one beautiful looking package, especially here. Look at like the green that transitions to a bluish gray wash. Um, like look at the tail, look at everything here. This right here, I don't understand how Funko did this with a price point of only 10 bucks. But this thing is beautiful. Now, sadly, there is no uh, accessories or uh, articulation because uh, Godzilla isn't really known for, like, having articulation on his Funko Pop. So uh, we're going to go jump right over to size comparisons and regular comparisons, which we might as well pair them up with the previously mentioned original Godzilla from the uh, 90s, I determined this was. And as you can see... I literally do not have uh, any understanding as to like how Funko Pops evolved over the years because I'm not a Funko Pop collector. I'm a Godzilla slash King Kong slash Kaiju collector. But these, these, these two, 2015, 2021, this just goes to show how much Funko has improved. I don't know if it's because like the sculptors and painters themselves just got better and better and better over the years. But this, just look at it. I think this spells out any sort of uh, comparison you need to find. And uh, here's another size comparison. Well, more of a regular comparison. With the King Kong that came with him, the Battle, uh, battle Ready Kong. And uh, again, this was all in the two-pack, which I will review in a later video. Just want to do these figures individually before I put them together and then do the showdowns, which I'm going to get to yours pretty soon. And for another size comparison, here he is with some other uh, of his Funko Pop brethren with the Heat Ray Godzillas. They're the same ones. Neither of them are the Heat Ray Glow in the Dark FYE exclusive, which kind of sucks because I really was hoping to snag one but their prices are going up higher and higher and higher. And I need to act fast. But I mean, it is what it is. Um, funny enough, this one was the one, if you're wondering like why I have two of them, I bought this one uh, on its own, and then this one was part of a three pack with a Battle Axe Kong and a uh, Mecha Godzilla. So that's why I have uh, doubles. And it's good that I have doubles, so in case this one goes missing or breaks, I have a backup. Although it kind of sucks about this one is that it kind of goes a little heavy-handed with the green paint. Like, you, you see this, and then you see this. Yeah, you, you can see. And for another size comparison, here he is with his fellow GVK brethren, with Kong himself with the Battle Axe and Mecha Godzilla. Which, actually, it's something I want to point out here. Mecha Godzilla is still the shortest. And for the last size comparison and comparisons in general, we have some NECAs and another Funko. Uh, we have the NECA Godzilla 2014, which is actually my favorite figure in the whole collection. The NECA 2019, which is one of my favorites. And the Funko Pop 10 inch tall Godzilla, which I feel like in terms of sculpt and paint, these two are actually like really close. You see what I'm talking about? Like, look at the dorsal fins on the Funkos. Granted, like, the dorsal fins here aren't exact match. But, like, if you look at the body, they use, like, very identical colors. Like, some sort of aquatic green, which really suits Godzilla. Especially this design. And if we, like, move the NECA figures out of the way. Come on. Ah, oh, jeez, they're long figures. Uh, let's actually move the camera here. Um... Look at the differences. Because, like, we have the Godzilla's looking at two different ways. It looks like we got two giant Godzilla's face, not in reality. He's got a little baby. Um, it, They're facing completely different ways. Uh, one's a bit more hunched over than the other. And uh, their tails really, like, oppose each other. It's very amazing. Um, Which one do I prefer? Um, I prefer each other for different reasons. I like him because he's a very small, compact, and very cutesy little package. But then this big boy is definitely worth the money. 
And honestly, I'm glad I got him. He's big, okay? Look at that. Like father, like son. So, uh, do I recommend this? Yes. Also, I hope you enjoy my replication of a GDK Funko Pop. I know this is, like, not the best. Basically, what's going on here is, like, Kong's, like, getting ready to battle Godzilla. And then we got, like, a Hong Kong building. And then we got, like, the lights. So, I mean, I have lights over there. I think this would have worked if I did it like this. Oh, yeah, look at that. This just looks beautiful. I should do some photography. I have an Instagram. Follow me. It's on uh, my About Me page on uh, my YouTube channel. Anyways, um, do I recommend this? Absolutely. If you can find it for a really good price, go for it because these things are going out fast. Godzilla especially. The Kongs are still available in stock at like certain retailers. But that's only because he's Kong. Godzilla seems to get more love than Kong does, despite Kong being the more um, uh, sympathetic of the two, even though we all care for Godzilla. Kong just seems like the more relatable one of the two. Unless if you count, uh, you know, being disturbed by, say, another person, maybe your neighbor. And uh, that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked it, definitely subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!